No, no, you're missing my point. I'm talking no, about no, we, totally we, we practice it. faith every single day. What I'm saying is, so when you get in an earth, so it's like it's just like anything. It's like if you get on the bus. Do you know for absolutely certain that the driver is going to drive you all the way to your house without crashing into a wall? So, you're, you're millions of years you're talking about. You're saying that in millions of years, some more chimps will turn into human beings. But I'm talking about some chimps that stay as chimps and die as chimps and don't turn into human beings. No, what, what, Why haven't what's happened to us happened to them? That's what I'm asking. Because they believe, believe in God. a supernatural. Yeah. No, no. Without but, any evidence. But what's the evidence that there's an organized accident? This is what I'm saying. What's the evidence that there's an organized accident? That nothing was the cause of the Big Bang that you say? They design an order and structure behind everything, down here and up there, isn't it? As we've established, the cars, your house, the sun, the moon, there's always something or someone behind it. No, no, let's, let, let, let's not play with words. Natural, you know what I mean? What, what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, naturally. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. So he deals with the animal kingdom. He's done documentaries on the animal kingdom. Is that the same with the human, humankind? No, it's not. It's not. When you, when you talk about lions, no, 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 but it's not. When you're wrong. When you talk about lions and tigers and deers and bears, is that the same as us? No, in what sense? No, 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 I'm not talking about in that sense. We're, we're humankind, are we? No, 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 hold, no, 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 no. Are we humankind? Or are we not? Right. And, 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 and is a lion and a tiger and a bear humankind? No. Exactly. It's so, it's, so it's not the, right. Yes, it's that's right. So it's not the There's same. Lots of different yeah, species. And, and the main difference is that we're humans, so-called. Let me yes. use that word. Yes. And they're not. Is it, okay? Let me put it more specifically. Is a lion? Yes. Yeah, is, is a lion a human? No. Exactly. Right. I'm not arguing with the species. I'm arguing with the kind. Yeah, we're not right. I'm we're not the kind. Right. So, so I'll go back to my example. The animal kingdom is not the same as human. The animal kingdom are four footed beasts and flying birds and fish is not the same so as human animals. Are we primates? Huh? Are we primates? What do you mean by primates? What do you mean? The monkeys, the gorillas. We're not, no, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. Well, you think, you, 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 you went with the argument of coming from monkeys. No, I don't believe that. You can believe that if you want. I don't believe that. I don't believe you came from monkeys. I believe that this is true. It's from a people of point of view. You might not believe it. Yeah, yeah. But what's the you? evidence? Okay, what's the evidence that we've got? Are from you a biologist? No, no, no. I'm asking you. Why do you believe it? No, no, you're, 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 you're believing believe somebody, believe, you're believe, you're the one, and you're the one that believes based on what somebody told you. Because in, in, yeah, in biology, yeah, that's where we come from. What's the evidence? A common ancestor. What's the evidence? The evidence is and now, and let me. Science. We're going to go into evolution now. Let's go into evolution. Seeing as we've gone, not an evolution. Okay, right. Okay. No, no. But we, you're saying that we came from apes and forfeit. You're saying that we came from morphs. Yeah. There wasn't. There wasn't. There wasn't are you there arguing wasn't that? An ape, and then there was a human. Okay. I just want to know if you're arguing this 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 um development thing. Yeah. yeah. That we went like that and we started becoming more upright. Yeah. So we came from a monkey-like creature or yeah. chimp or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's what you're arguing. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so now let me ask you. So why are they still chimps? Why why, all, that? Because, yeah, why didn't they all evolve? Because in the evolutionary tree, yeah. Yeah. it stops. Why did it stop? Because we have enough of what we need to do to live as a human. Is that plausible? Yeah. No, no, it's not plausible. Because that's, it's, that's, that's it's, what I'm saying. No, it, it, it's the, the origin of the species. Yeah. It's, it's all around us. Yeah, but what I'm saying is why didn't... A cat doesn't uh, turn into a dog. Right, okay, so, so but, but, but yeah, a chimp turned into a human being. That's what you're saying. Or an ape. So a cat doesn't turn into a dog, so why did the chimp turn into a human, which, which you are now? Slowly, slowly. Yeah, no, why is what I'm getting at? Why did you turn into a Why? And, 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 and more importantly, now I'll get your point, and more importantly, why did it stop? This is crucial. Why did the process it stop? What, what? No, it has, because there are still monkeys. Why did they turn into human beings? Why don't they look the monkeys and chimps, whatever, why don't they look like they have some stop? No, but why don't these chimps that exist now, why haven't they, why haven't they, why haven't they, why haven't they become They're still happen? evolving. No, no, it no, takes no. millions of years. So you, no, no, no. But these just chimps, just overnight. But, but there are chimps, yeah, that, that, that are going to live and exist and have done and die and never turn into you and I. So it's not so. So even though you're saying it's stopping, it's not, what I'm saying is it's not happening to all of them because there is a chimp that's dying in the zoo every single day as a chimp. It doesn't get. As, it, doesn't, said, it doesn't end up like me and then die. It dies as it is. As I said, so it, that, it, it takes it, millions of years of evolving. Right. Okay, but that millions of years of evolving is still leaving these individual chimps as chimps until they die. That's what I'm saying. So, your millions of years you're talking about. You're saying that in millions of years, some more chimps will turn into human beings. But I'm talking about some chimps that stay as chimps and die as chimps and don't turn into human beings. No, what, what, Why haven't what's happened to us happened to them? That's what I'm asking. Because you know them specific ones. I know the, I know what you're saying about the evolution. You're saying that in the evolution 
Mr. Moore are going to turn into us over millions of years. But I'm talking about the specific one that liver chimps, exist the chimps, and dieted chimps and don't turn into us. They haven't gone through that evolution process. And my question is why? If, they even, if, if you and I were once they, and now we become us, why doesn't... I know that you're saying some others are going to happen, but what I'm asking, why didn't why it happen to all of them? Why didn't it happen to all of them? And more specifically, why didn't it happen to ones who stay at the state they are until they die? Do you understand the evolution? What do you, it depends on your evolution. I believe in you evolution. I'm, I'm just wondering why you believe in it exactly, as opposed to creation. That's what I'm asking. Because yeah, as opposed to scientifically, creation. yeah, it's testable. Mm, that's questionable. That, that, that's, that's Science is the. So, are, are, are you an evolutionist? Are you a big bang theory? Yeah, that it's, it's for evolution. Well, I believe in the sciences. Right. So, so, so basically, you, believe, you also believe that. Um, why is the Earth here? Did it, did it, did it come Through the Big Bang. Ah, oh, right. Now this is problematic. So, no, w w which what's, what's the problem? Right, because you don't believe in a creator. You don't believe that things no, are created. No. Right, so you believe that everything's an accident, presently? Everything's what? You, you think this all got here by chance or, or, or by, by mishap? I don't know. <laughs> no, you kind of can. I don't know. Right. But, but, that's, but what do you believe? What do you understand? You're the latest science. But the Big theory. Bang is saying what? The Big Bang is saying what? Organised explosion. Presently. Yeah. An organised explosion. Of the time. Yeah. You, you, you think that's realistic? An organised Yeah. So if I whip up a piece of paper and throw it up in the air, how will it land? Randomly. It will land scattered, won't it? Yeah. Right, so why would it not land gathered? Why would it not land gathered? It's a different analogy. However many attempts is what I'm saying, however many, correct me if I'm wrong, however many attempts I make, it still end up scattered. It's a totally different analogy. No, but it, no, Honestly, it's not totally different. The quantum, actually, because you're the quantum saying, physics yeah. is totally different to the macro physics that you're on about, ripping up pipe and throwing. But the principle's the same, in that something disorganised gathers or becomes coherent or something coherent comes out of some kind of chaos or accident or mishap, whatever word you want to use. So Th That's what's going on here in the Big Bang. The even, though, even though you try to sophisticate it a bit, but the Big Bang is, in an, is essentially saying that it's an organised accident. It's an accident that's organised, that's become coherent. Co you know, um, um, yeah. organisation of chaos. I understand what you're saying, but in yeah. the quantum world, things happen before. Right. Yeah? It's so, not magical. Okay, okay. But the latest theory, like, and Hawkins and stuff, mm. great mathematicians, they kind of worked it out, no? There, there's lots of scientists that worked on a lot of other stuff and haven't come to that conclusion. So the problem with science, it depends who's doing the science, like anything else. You know, it depends on who's doing the science. A Richard Hawkins comes to the conclusion they want to come to, and Isaac Newton Jones comes to the conclusion they want to come to. Science. Different scientists. No, no, but they are religious scientists. It's all, yeah, it's all You're like right. pushing the boundaries. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, so, so my point is, why is it, so my point now is, it's kind of what is it? it I'm not quite sure. Is it Big Bang or evolution versus creation? So, so what's wrong? Why is it? First came why the Big do Bang. you think? Okay, what was the cause of the Big Bang? Don't know. But could there have been a cause? Could there have been a creator behind it? Perfect. Possibly. Possibly. Would that, would, okay, to you, would that make more sense or not? No. That's so, like a, a mythological thing. Right, so then, so then it makes more sense that a, 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 a more organized, a more um, organized accident makes more sense to you than some kind of. Like um, I said, in the quantum world, things happen. Different. Because you know you said we're creatures, you agree that we're creatures? We're creatures. We are creatures, we're yes. that. Right, creatures means creation, from creation. Does it? Yes, it does. Cre a cre cre creature is creation. It, it got created. Right, so we yeah. got created. Because we're creatures. By God. Well, no, let's, let's first establish it wasn't an accident, is what I'm trying to establish first. If something's created, it's not an accident, is it? Creations are, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, if I create a bike, if I make a bike, you know. Yeah, but you're referring to a God yeah. that created it. Well, I'm saying or, that. Or a superior being. I'm saying that a couple of stuff happened because, you know, even certain biologists say we're creatures, we're creatures, aren't we? Yeah, we, we all are of creatures. Us. Yeah. Animals, you know, six, four footed bees yeah. and fish, creatures from creation, which yeah. have been created, which means it's not an accident, which means it's designed. Was it an accident or was it a design? But what I want to get at, do, do you think it's plausible? So, are you an atheist? Yeah. So you don't believe in God? No. Well, you don't God. believe in... Yeah. You, do, you, do you believe in any kind of... Or God? supernatural. You don't believe in any kind of supernatural no. You don't think there's nothing up there in the sky at all? No. Nothing at all is no. up there, just clouds and suns and whatever. Nothing's yeah. in the cosmos, the cosmos at all. No kind of person got in the cosmos at all? No. How can you know that? How can I know that? Do you know that or do you just believe that? Yeah. I believe that. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
based on um, science. Yeah. Okay, based on the science. latest theory. So of would science. it would it be fair in this kind of would it be fair for me to say that we can't really come to that conclusion unless we've um, checked out the whole puzzle. And that's unless what science, we've gone up No, they haven't. That's what science is trying to right, do. Right, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. now people are like, we haven't. We don't know all the answers. Right, exactly. So is it fair is what I'm saying? Is it really fair for someone to say conclusively that there's no God? Or is it just fair to say that there's more of a less potential? Because coming to the conclusion that Richard Hawkins is absolutely certain, and other people are absolutely certain that there's no God without having done the, without, in a, without having, you know, checked out. In his opinion, he he's, al he's allowed to do that. Of course he's allowed to do it. So, but in human it, terms, yeah, yeah. and I have to agree, yeah. that culturally, we all have gods. In, what, Every yeah. culture has a god. Okay. So which god? Oh, you're talking about okay you're talking about mythical god or uh, 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 well, yeah there's uh, mythical god okay well I, I, I look at the cosmos and i think where did it come from that's what i ask where did the sun yeah, and the moon and the things that science tell answer. us as well are a not eternal question. yeah, yeah they tell us these things have not always been here they tell us that they tell us the earth is not eternal as in it hasn't always been here the earth hasn't this earth hasn't yes. always been here so tell us so where did it come from the moon hasn't always been here and the sun all these things the that big we know. bang theory right okay right okay but again which is testable yeah <laughs> yeah, well, but what I'm asking you is, it, I'm saying no. Rather, I'm saying, and correct me if I'm wrong. It takes more faith for you to believe for you to believe your position than mine. No, 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 it's not because faith, you're saying we're you're not saying we're not faithfully doing this. We're doing this in a scientific way. But as again, science is depends on who science you're using. Yeah, really. That, so as I said, lots of scientists, like, lots of credible scientists yeah. have come to the conclusion that that that, that is the creator, the explanation. Religious science. Not only re yeah, religious science is a very different religion. Not, 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 not just any religious science. Is different. Uh, That's your point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, so and, and, and it's only AC scientists that say otherwise, so let's be fair. It's only, if you want to say, if you want to say it's only religious scientists that say that's creation, it's only AC scientists that think that there is no God that are saying the opposite. So, so all fair love, love and science. <laughs> science. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we can't use that argument that the Christian, the religious scientists are being unfair unless we say that the AC scientists are being unfair because they both have their biases because one is saying it because, because they believe, believe in God. the supernatural. Yeah. No, no. Without but, any evidence of it. But what's the evidence that there's an organized accident? That's what I'm saying. What's the evidence that there's an organized accident? That nothing was the cause of the Big Bang that you say? From, what's the evidence that nothing was the cause of the Big What is theory. it? What is the scientific theory? Right, theory. The theory of evolution. The, 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 that's the, a, that's the, a scientific the, theory the, the, the which can be proven. Yeah, the, pr the proof is in the pudding. It's still a theory. Though. It's not it, a layman it, theory. Yeah, I understand that. But, 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 but when, I understand that. But when we look at the details of the fact that they haven't searched out the whole theory, solar, through the fossil they, record, they haven't the searched out the whole solar system. No. They can't come to this conclusion. conclusion. And then you can come to the conclusion of a god. No, no, I can't come to. The, no, 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 no. I'm saying that. Come, so what I'm saying is, I'm, what I'm trying to try is that we're both in the same position at the moment. But, 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 but really, we are because it takes as much faith to believe what you believe as it from it's to not believe faith. what I. <laughs> faith when is, it is faith, faith is the belief in something. No, 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 no. no. We have faith every day. When we you have get, a confidence. No, no, no. It's not confidence. But when you get on a plane, that's faith. Because you don't know if the guy's going to get from one destination to the other. No, we You do. don't know who's saying no. We can go no, to I'm, the airline no, no. and ask to see the, the pilot's No, but, no, but right? what I'm saying is you don't know if that pilot's a suicide bomber. You don't know what's going to go through his mind while he's getting you from Jamaica to the United Kingdom. You don't, that's faith. You, don't, you can't get on that plane and say, I absolutely know 100% from London to New York. To, to because people always don't get from London to New York before the thing hits yeah, the ground. That's what I'm saying. To fly a plane. You can believe it as strongly as you want, but you can't say for certain is what I'm saying. I'm talking about certainty. A random person cannot fly the plane. No, no. What I'm saying, no, 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 no. No, I'm not talking about his qualifications. I'm he, talking about you can't establish that he's going to get there without taking a detour or without crashing the plane deliberately. You can't guarantee that, can you? There needs so, to so, be someone in authority to fly that plane. No, no, you're missing my point. I'm talking no, about no, we, totally we, we practice it. faith every single day. What I'm saying so when you get in an earth, so it's like say like anything. It's like if you get on the bus. Do you know for absolutely certain that the driver is gonna drive you all the way to your house without crashing into a wall? So and I'm talking about deliberately. Yeah, he I'm might a, deliberately choose to crash. Confidence yeah? 
I've heard that every confidence that they put someone in place no, no, who's, no. Who's, who's certified. No, 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 that's not what I mean. No, no, I'm I just talking. No, no, I'm not, you're, I'm not trying, you're trying to use the qualification. I'm not talking about his qualification, that he's not qualified, that he hasn't gone through the school system, university, whatever. I'm, saying, I'm talking about, do you know for certain that he's not going to lose his mind and have a suicidal mentality? I don't know that. Right, exactly. 100%. So then, right, that's what I'm trying to say. And we all live like that. So it's faith. That is, that is what faith is. It's not knowing and so, but, but, but based on that, you don't, what, this is what I'm saying. Based on that, you don't say, wait a minute, I'm not taking this plane after all. You know, when those thoughts go through your mind, you have to weigh out the balance. Yeah, yeah they all do. And you don't, as a, and, and people don't, as a result of that, say, wait, actually, based on that, based on it being a possibility, and if there is a real possibility, especially in today's society, yeah. it's more so of a possibility, as you know, with the suicide bombing that's going on. Yeah. But yeah, when we calculate these decisions, we don't say, actually, I'm going home. Because we still have to get on about our business, confidence. and the fact that we don't right, that, that's faith though. It's not. It's not based on. It's confidence. Faith. Yeah, right. Well, to an extent, yeah. Okay, call, call it confidence. You, want. I could call it faith. Same thing. But what I'm trying to get at is, we practice. What I'm trying to get at is, we practice faith every single day. All I of have us. No confidence. <laughs> it's a supernatural. Okay, that's fine, and I do, and I have no. So Where you have. You, you, okay, okay, proof right, okay, that. right. My proof is in the universe. This is what I'm saying. My proof of a supernatural being is in the universe. The universe is here. Right? And there are things here that we've got with. First of all, as I said, scientists established that the Earth is not, you know, and we talk about evolution, fine. But the, 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 the fact still is that scientists have established that the Earth is not, um, they haven't been here forever, they haven't been here. So that means it's kind of got here, and it got here, and also the moon, and the sun, and all these things, and all these elements are not all, and the, yeah, they've not always been here. So they also came from somewhere. So I'm saying these things, which is what we call the universe, I'm saying that the design behind them, yeah. the, the, the way they're designed, for example, why doesn't time, for example, you can ask a question in the very important question, why doesn't time speed up or slow down? Why does ice turn into water? All these kind of things. You know, and, and the sun and the moon Science. and the and the road. Yeah, and, uh, I understand and Chemistry. the road. Right, but I'm saying this is too old I'm saying this is too laws Right. Of yes, the laws of gone. The right, well, and I'm saying that there's a cause behind those laws. I'm agreeing with you, but I'm saying there's a cause behind those laws, and that's what I call God, or that's where I see God. That's what you see God. Yes, because it's too organized. No, that's not what God is. I'm saying God is more than that. I'm saying I see God as God. I'm saying I got more is God. Right, okay, right. I'm saying right. I believe in Okay, I, I believe in a personal God. I, I believe in the first of all, but I'm, I'm, I'm putting it out. I'm putting, okay, I'm putting, well, first of all, the starting point is the universe. That's what I'm saying. The starting point is the universe. That's, that's the starting point. Because I'm a Christian and I believe in scripture, but I can put that aside for a while and I can look at the universe and say it's too organized. It's just too organized. It really is. It's too organized, you know, the seasons. And you're saying behind it all, at some point there was some kind of accident that threw all of this it's into... There's a reason why there's seasons, eh? No, but, but again, every time, you know, it, okay, there might be reasons, but what's the cause? I know there's reasons, but what's the cause behind the reasons? Is what I'm trying to get at. Earth rotates. What? This, again, I, the sun. again, this is a lot of organization. No, the way you're describing all of this, this is organization to me. Um, gravity. Right, again, this is all organization. You know, like if you, let me give you an example. If you went to your house, um, no, no, you're walking down the street, look at the, you're walking down the street and look at the cars at the side of the road. Let's say you just landed. Silly example, you just landed on planet Earth. Yeah. And you just go on any road, you see the way the cars are on both sides of the road. Yeah. You see organization. You see something that's been structured, organized. You don't think, oh, this happened by chance. You know, it's not by chance that certain cars are on the side of the road and there are instances where there's only, there's certain roads where that's cars organized. are only. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. The whole universe is organized, my friend. The whole of society is organized, be it good or bad. Just because and, it's right. on Earth, does it mean it's in the universe? Well, no, what I'm saying is human beings are organized yeah. and we have the ability to organize things. I'm just saying things just don't happen by themselves. You know, the, the laws. organize. Yes, of course! You're proving my point! Um, that, yes, you're yes. inferring the God that organised it? Well, no, first, no, I'm doing two things actually. I'm first of all saying, if you, even if you, that's what I'm saying, even if you want to take God out of the picture, you see organisation. Even if you want to take God out of the picture, you see organisation. The ants are organised, as you said. Animal kingdom organised. The I'm cars doing. on the side of the road is organised. I'm taking God out of the picture. Right, okay, so let's take God out of the picture. Okay, right, if you take God out of the picture, there's still a lot of organisation. What causes organisation? What I'm saying is, you, things are not organised. Things have to be organised. When you go to your flat, if you get a new flat today, it's not going to be organised. Yeah. You're gonna have so to put the furniture. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. So you so now if I walked into your flat and I said, Wow, who did this? And you said it was me. And I said, No, of course it wasn't me. 
You couldn't have done this. It must have. That would have been silly, would it? How, how, no, no, think about it. <laughs> right, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, so what I'm saying is to you, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm taking God out of the picture. And I'm saying, and I'm looking at the whole of society and I'm saying everything's all, And I'm, not, I'm trying not to come to any assumptions. But what I'm making clear is that everything's organized. Things don't happen. You get a new flat, it has to be put in order. You get a new car, you have to put the engine in it. You know, you get a work on a thing, but everything. That camera working there now. It's not working on its own. So millions of you know, years time. If it, the sun's gonna get bigger and blow up the earth. No, what I'm saying, if he walks off, that, yeah. that's the end of that camera. Yes. It, that's what I'm saying. There's always organization. Yeah. If he walks off, that's the end of the camera. You know, if people leave this part, nobody's here anymore. You know, there's no, you know, everything. What I'm saying, everything's organized, and what, and what I'm getting at is what, and I'm taking the God out of the picture, and I'm saying everything's organized. Yeah. Outside of with you taking God out of the picture, yeah, everything's yeah. still organized. Things that wouldn't be so if they weren't organized by someone. If there wasn't law to say that how cars can park on the side of the roads, you know, cars might just be anywhere. Actually, there are some areas where cars are anywhere. Where I live, the, 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 you know, the roads are a bit hectic. The road is very small, and sometimes people park on my like, grass because just the way the thing's structured but every time the ticket guys come around they say no no what i'm saying is i'm seeing order there you know things have to be ordered or people just stuff just happen so you know eventually the ticket guys come around and say this is silly somebody parking zigzag you know and they threaten them by putting the ticket on the car and then the next time that car goes in line with what the order is and what i'm saying is so if somebody comes along and says no there's an order here this guy's not following the order let's give him a ticket because there's order because society works by order so why didn't you know if that wasn't the case Ticket guys wouldn't exist. Or when ticket guys come around and a car is parked zigzag, he just leaves it because what does he matter? So we've put that in place. Yeah, of course we have. Humans yeah, put yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. And yeah. likewise, but what we haven't put in place is the sun, the moon, the stars, and the clouds and things like this that we know that human beings haven't put in place. And the seasons. We don't control the sun in the winter and the spring and the summer. Yeah, so what I'm saying is like humanity and society are in place, like the cosmos is in order as well. The winter seasons, um, rain, snow. Um, um, the moon for light, night light and the sun for daylight. The the cosmology. Yeah, but, yeah, but we haven't, but again, there's an order. We haven't done that order. Who's done that? we done this one, you're saying. Who's done that one? We've done this order, the car parking and the laws and stop me from hitting you and blah 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 and, and, and getting your flat and have to put the furniture in it. Who's done all that? Somebody on the Who's done that one? Right, okay, but, but what I'm saying is who done that? There's still an order up there though. You know, the season is an order. Sun comes out at a time, goes away. Moon comes out at a time, goes away, back and forth. Who done that? Who done that order? Universal. No, no, who? No, who? 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 Yeah, okay. So who's that? Right, right. But but you but you missed my point because I'm trying to say you wouldn't look at this one and say it just happened by itself because we're establishing that people done it. Somebody made the law to the car to park. It hadn't happened by itself. No, no, no. What? No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say, just like how human society reflects the people behind it, we can establish the government behind the parking laws, the government behind the um, transport laws, you know, traffic laws. But as I'm saying, yeah, it's human beings, some ways, and for every different factor from human beings behind it. But who's behind that organization? Hmm. Yeah, or what? We know who's behind this one government, sometimes you, if your flat is fixed up, you're behind it, your mum might have done it, your brother might have done it. But who's done that? No, no, I'm asking a question. Okay, okay, not who, who or what? Yeah, who, yeah. They have to be, but you would admit that it's something. It didn't happen. But would you agree that it has to be something or someone, just like out down here, something or someone? Okay, something or someone. Supernatural. Okay, okay, right, but would you agree that it's something or someone? Okay, you want to call it a thing. Would you agree that it's a thing? thing. Yeah, but you want to call it a thing. I'm saying something or someone. Yeah, yeah how you doing? Yeah, once again, yeah. With, all I'm trying to get at is, I think you know what I'm getting at. I'm trying not to say God, because I don't need to, but you see, that's how I came to faith. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying not to say, because I can, see, I can take, I don't, I don't know if you noticed that I can take God out of the picture, and I'm still quite comfortable, because if I take God out of the picture of that, I still know that no human being can claim a for it. You can't, right? So, so we're it down here. If I tried to argue that, what I'm trying to say, if I tried to argue down here, let, let me ask you, Jen, you get me. If I tried to, you know the example that I used about you getting a flat and you fixing it up yourself. If I tried to argue that you didn't do it or some human being didn't do it and the traffic roads, and would you buy that? If I tried to argue that it wasn't a person, you wouldn't buy it from me, would you? Because you know that there's some human being, right? So likewise, up there, if I tried to argue that it must be some, let's call it, let's forget the who, it must be something. Would you argue that? Right, but what's that supernatural? So it's not a human being, we know that. So if it's supernatural, what I'm trying to establish is, is that supernatural accidental? 
or is it organized like down here? Like just like I down here, we know it couldn't be accidental. Your flat can't get fixed up accidentally. Somebody has to do it. If you're too lazy to do it, you get someone else to do it. Somebody's always behind it. And I'm saying likewise up there, if you don't want to call it a who, you still have to call it a thing. But I would say, but it's, so let's call it a thing. Yeah, so Thompson. but that, that thing is still Thompson. organized, isn't it? It's not, it's not an accident. So what I'm saying, it's still organized though, isn't it? It's not an accident. It's not an accident that the moon comes out at night and gives its light in the sun. It's not an accident, it's something's done it, organized, that the moon comes out at time, goes away. Way, the sun comes out, goes away. Something or someone has done that, just like how they've done the cars and they've done your flat and they've done the park, isn't it? Yeah. Something behind it, isn't it? And that's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm interested in. That's actually because what we can't get away from is that there's design. I'm talking about design. There's design and order and structure behind everything down here and up there, isn't it? As we've established, the cars, your house, the sun, the moon, there's always something or someone behind it. And I'm and I'm not trying to get you to say it to God, I'm just trying to get you to say that. It wasn't an accident, just like your flat not an accident. Oh, it's it, well, what, the same reason your flat can't be an accident. Yeah. How can your flat get organized by itself? Wait, Try and so argue, yeah. argue with me. I would like you to oh, if you can. Cold. Argue with Wait, me that, for that, a reason why your flat could organize itself. The walls get painted, the carpet gets laid, the furniture gets put in place, and nobody else is going to argue that for me. Uh, Try and convince me that somebody's not behind the that. quantum <laughs> level, <laughs> which we're trying to understand. Yeah. We're not putting a name, a label on it. Okay, but 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 no, but you're missing my point though. Can you argue that somebody's not behind your flat getting fixed up? That's a different analogy. No. Randomness. Out of that comes order. No, no. How can how can how the can order random? How can order come out of the uh, uh, out of the out of out of it? How can it be ordered? What I'm saying is, if 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 the sun and the moon came about by chance, if you want, yeah. I don't know if it's a better example. If the sun and the moon came about by chance, why is there order? Why don't they come out at the wrong time? Why doesn't the sun come out at night and try and give light to the, and then the moon come out? And you know, why why is the order? Why is it not mixed up? So, because yeah. if it's random, okay. there's too much order in the chaos. There is no order in chaos. Surely, there's no order. In, can we agree that there is no order in chaos? Chaos doesn't that by its very nature. Yeah. Chaos doesn't have order. Yeah, but in gravity. Yeah. So when so when the Earth formed or when the star formed and particles got together and they orbit the sun. Yeah. Then that's that's where the the order comes in because it's still in the Kyber but belt. Star um, planets floating around disorderly. I thought we were trying to establish that. I, I don't see how you're trying to go there. I don't see how you're trying to say that down here it has to be so, but up there the same. The same. I know it's not the same, but what is the same is an order. I'm yeah, only so, talking about the so order. I'm, uh, I'm not talking about the Earth is heaven or heaven is Earth. They're different. Yeah. I mean, the cosmos is not Earth and the Earth is not cosmos. Yeah. This planet Earth. Yeah. But what I'm saying, but behind them, the principle behind them is the same, is that they both need order. Somebody needs to have done your flat. Somebody needs to have organized the traffic laws. Somebody. It's a different analogy. Or, or something, if you want. Someone or something. It's a different analogy because out of the chaos, yeah. Came all that. But why doesn't order come out of chaos down here? Why can't we say everybody can park where they want and hopefully there won't be no accidents, everybody will be able to cross the road? We put that in place. But why do we need to put it in place? Why can't we just, that's what I'm saying. Why couldn't because, we, why can't like, they just leave yeah, the yeah, wood of being disorder? Why? Why? why would there yeah, be what, Yeah, why would it be order if we didn't put things in place? Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. So, why? Because we're why going in circles now, so you yeah, just why, like why? Yeah, why can't we just leave it alone? We Let can, people come with... Can. No, no, but, but we have chaos. In country, in, in other civilizations where there are no cars... Yeah. There's chaos. They do, they do what they like. They, there is chaos. And then... No, there is chaos. There is chaos. Yes, yeah, absolute chaos. And then... Of, Say authority, the yeah. chief yeah. doesn't want chaos. Yes. So they right. in order. Yes, exactly, that's what I'm saying. So without people getting involved in the society and making rules and laws and guidelines, yeah. there is chaos. Yes. And and there are examples actually, because I looked into it. There's examples where laws and rules come either into place where they didn't exist yeah. or they become tighter. Because prior to that there was too much chaos. Sometimes there's examples where certain councils I'll give you a perfect example, actually where I live is as it is you know it just said um, um it's a small road yeah. and they said that people if there's too much parking people have to park outside okay. this is what they did at okay. one time okay. so basically so you're supposed to look and think it's a tiny road i can only get two cars in here but 
and if there's more than two cars in there, you have to park elsewhere. Uh -huh. But because people couldn't be able to do that, they just crammed the car in and it started getting full. Yeah. What I'm saying is when you leave people to their own devices without laws, it becomes chaos. What they did at one point, they tried to get people to use their reason. Say, look, if you see there's more than 10, only 10 cars can fit in. This is a real example yeah. I'm giving you. Only 10 cars can fit in here. If there's 10 cars in there, please park across the road. But people come and think, oh, 10 cars. Okay, can't bother to drive back out there. I'll just squeeze it in there. Yeah. So they have to bring in a law to tighten that. Yeah. Right now, we're not going to let you do it. You know, after there's 10 cars in there, we're going to lock the door so that you have to go. You mean, that's order. Because when you leave people to the invited, it becomes chaotic. That's what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is, it was not gonna, as time went on, people were not gonna start saying, okay, I'm gonna go out there. Because people are lazy. They're gonna, instead of driving out five minutes, now I'm just gonna squeeze it in there. Get that. Right, so in the out of kingdom, that comes order. In the animal kingdom, yes. it's order. In what way? The way. In terms of how they look like a cub, you mean, in, in, in the way, you mean in terms of how animals might look after their own? Yeah. Yeah, in that sense. Yeah. But they, but there's so a but, nice. but there's another way in which they're not in that certain animal the other animal. Like a lion eats a deer. So there, there might be order within the, your own like the, the lion kingdom yeah. or, or the cats, but the lions will go and eat the deers and the bulls might attack the lions. So you might be within your own species as it were. There might be to some level, to some level only, unity and harmony with your own species, yeah. but not against another one. So there's a level of um, um, order, but there's another level in which there is. No, because I watched these different animals, brother, and I, they're, they're, they're the lions are eating the deer. Yeah. So, but within themselves, they're looking after each other, yeah. but they're outside camp. No, attack them. The, the other lions. Yeah. They, they protect their territory, right? Yeah. They will fight that other lion. Yes, exactly. So you're kind of going against yourself a bit. So, they, so it's, it's, it's actually both. There's a sense to which there's unity, but there's another sense to which there is not unity. Because if one lion feels that their cub is under attack by another lion, they will fight it. So, so, so that's not unity, <laughs> is it? There's unity amongst your own family life. Yes. It's like there might be unity amongst your brothers. Yes. But if I come and interfere, even if you are not getting on, you're going to get it against me. So there's so, a level of unity, but and that's a level of unity on a humanity level. Yeah. But against me, you and your brothers, there's no unity. That's right. right, and that's the same in animal kingdom. That's, that's right. the same analogy right. in the universe. No, no, it's not. No, no it's not. Not up there. There's unity in yeah. this galaxy. Yeah. The solar system. Yeah. But there's also chaos. Oh yes, absolutely. And there's chaos when there's like hurricanes and tsunamis and earthquakes now and tornadoes right that's fine but no absolutely but outside of that but again i would say this is just my picture i would say that's all part and parcel of we're going to call it a thing the thing i want to call it a part Physics, but the thing that's chemistry, right it. well no biology. no what i'm saying is let's take for example the sea let's take for example in this country they have certain months here that it usually gets hot here but it doesn't that's not always the case you know, because the season, because the, the, the environment changes. Change. Yeah, right. So what I'm saying is, but that's like nature against its own self. That's like nature works a certain way. Against and then, itself. Yeah, in terms of, for example, let's say this was, let's say January, February. For example, January, just example. Yeah. January to March is supposed to be summer. Yeah. When January to March being summer becomes um, um, April to July, yes. it changed. That's nature changing its yes. own self. Yes. It's not really nobody interrupting it. That's the same nature that's controlling itself, kind of changing itself. As the supreme it were. beings not changing it. No, well, no, no, I'm, I'm using your analogy. Remember that there's not a who behind it, there's rather a thing behind it. Remember, I'm, I'm trying yeah, to yeah, use yeah. your analogy. Yeah. Of course, I'm saying it's God, but I'm trying to use, because I'm saying I can work with your analogy. You yeah. know, it's I can work with your analogy. Yeah, yeah. I can say that the sun and the moon comes out because of nature. Yeah. I believe it's God, but I'm working with your analogy that it's just nature, yeah. that the sun and moon is kind of controlling itself. Yeah. I believe that it's God controlling the sun and the moon, but I can work with you and say that it's nature that's controlling the sun and so, the moon. So, so but you can't work with it. No, but you know, it's like, because what I'm saying is I can take good out the picture and I would still see the same thing. You're I would dipping still your toe into mine. No, 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 no. What I'm doing is I'm, no, I'm, you know, I said I believe in a personal God. Yeah. But I can take the personal God out of the picture and I would have the same question. Who's controlling the sun and the moon and the star? It's not us. No, it's, it's not, not us. humans. So nature. even if I say this, right, exactly. So I can go with nature, although I ultimately believe that God is behind nature. I believe that God created nature and How God controls nature. That conclusion? Huh? How because because I believe that there's a because God is the creation behind the whole universe. How did you come to that conclusion? How do you know? Right, because well, because I look well. First of all, let's say I because I looked at the universe itself. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying you look to the you no, observe the universe. No, 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 no. I just mean from down here. Uh, yeah, you yeah. observed the universe from down here and came up with God did it. 
Well, no, yeah, and this is why. No, no, this is why. Because first of all, I've established that we didn't do it. Yeah, so if we didn't right. do it. Okay, so I'm saying some you're doing this. That a supernatural did it. Well, because they're the, because, because they're the creation, there's a creator behind every creation. That's my basis for it. There's a creator How behind you come every creation. to that conclusion? There's a creator behind it because, for example, we're creatures and science tells us that we're creatures. Yeah. We are creatures yeah. and the animal kingdom are creatures. And creatures have a creation. Creature comes from creation. A creature, a creature is. No, we don't have to say it's a supernatural being. I'm just saying that's what I am. I'm just saying that's what. No, no, you're missing my point. I'm saying I can start with the nature, but saying nature did all of this. Saying that nature did all of this. But then I want to ask what creates nature? Why can't I ask what creates. If I say that nature. Right, right, exactly. But are you labeling it a god? Yes. I'm leaving it a creator. How do you know it's a god? Because what, what is a god right, to you? Okay, right, 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 right. What is a god to me is um, a superhuman being, a, su a, 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 a being that's superior to us human beings, a superior um, god or god, as they say. I'll give you the different definition. A superior being or a god is, 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 is what it is. Superior to us, something superior to human beings. Yeah. And and, my, and I base that on, as I've said, the cosmos. It's all about the cosmos. Not, not Who created the moon and the stars? Did Where you, did they come from? Did you, did you make that up? No, no, no. You? What do you mean make it up? Make what up? So no, 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 human beings have always believed that humans, hu humanity, some civilization. Always believed yes, in God absolutely. Made yes. something. No, 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 no. What? Yeah, go on. How did they? How did they test that? How did they verify? Well, well, one thing is I said I keep going back to it. Stuff that we haven't created, that human beings haven't created. Let me ask you. Let me ask you specifically about this stuff. Where did the moon come from and the sun? What do you understand? Where did it come from? From the Big Bang. What again? What caused the Big Bang? Because we don't, we don't know. Wait a minute. Okay, we do agree with me that there's a cause and effect. Yes. Okay. Right. I'll conclude with this. Okay. I'll conclude this way, and then I'll let you give your conclusion. My conclusion is. What's your name, by the way? Sorry. Charles. Charles. My name's Hudson. Right. My conclusion with Charles is this: is my conclusion that when you look at the universe, yeah, you see, um, and I'm talking about the universe. I gave you the example of down here where we can put it down to human beings with organizing society and cultures and laws and policies and councils and things like that. But when we go and that's an order what I'm saying the bigger picture of what's going on in society is an order and I'm saying like God in the cosmos is an order and if we establish that the order down here is society that human beings are behind it I don't see why we can't also establish that there's a person or a thing behind the order of the cosmos and if we've established that it's not human beings what I'm saying is so human society reflects the cosmos there's order here there's order there but whereas we can identify who's behind the order here we can't necessarily identify who the, the, the order of the cosmos but we have to come to a logical conclusion that there is an order there is a person or a thing behind it just like there is a person or a thing behind and my key point is this until you can try and argue with me that your flat can organize itself your flat can paint itself organize the furniture by itself then you know on the same basis I'm you should try to argue analogy let, let me finish this point this, and i'll let you get in that's my argument that just like our society reflects an order the cosmos reflects an order and just like behind this reflection of the order in society there is a designer a person likewise with the cosmos there's a person or a thing that is designer or is cause that's my conclusion and i can take i can have god in the picture or have god out of the picture with or without god there's a cause cause and effect behind whether it's on earth or, 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 or in the cosmos. And I'm saying give your this total ignorance of how the universe started and before we get to know we cannot apply a God just jump into a conclusion and throughout history throughout humanity we've always provided a God that's done it that's just total ignorance let's, let's push the science let's find out exactly how it happened and that's what science is doing science doesn't answer all our questions it doesn't no it doesn't we're trying right. exactly right religious yeah religious yeah. thank you thank you very much